So in order to stop the ball, we got to do what? Breaks down to three things. One, we've got to perfect our angles. Sort of what we were talking about today. Actually, one of my drills was the reverse, the reverse arc today. That's perfecting your angles, right? We want to be able to stay as square as possible to the shooting shoulder. Guys, have you guys heard that before, the shooting shoulder? I want to be on the shooting shoulder. I might talk about this later, but while I'm on it, OK? If, I am, if you are square to the center of my body, OK? You're going to be here, angled that way. Instead of, if I have it righty, it, the ball is going to be coming. So let's look, look at it this way. I put a camera in the um, goal, back to goalie nerd stuff. I put a camera in the goal and had a friend shoot from high, low, sidearm, whatever it was. And one of the things we noticed that goalies, for the most part, don't you all like look like kind of right here? You know what I mean? Like you're kind of like looking in that area. But one of the things we found, and we would slow down the, the, the film, we found that the release point is way away from that spot, right? So if you're playing me straight up on the center of my body, rather than the side that my stick is on, you're going to be giving yourself a, a more difficult angle than if you played my shooting shoulder. And especially if I'm coming across this way and you're staying on my shooting shoulder, you're going to be more on that pipe that I want to hit. And now I'm going to have to pull it all the way across. Does that make sense, everybody? OK? So for me, stay on the shooting shoulder. Now, find the release and contact point. We're going to talk about that in a little bit. And then a consistent, aggressive mindset. Now. If you feel that you play better with a relaxed mindset, like you don't get too amped up, that's fine. But at some point, you have to be aggressive in, in how you're moving. And if you think about um, Coach Turner, Galloway, and Gilliman in that video, you know, they, they are moving aggressively, even though they might be um, relaxed. Does that make sense? You know what I mean? So I don't want you to say like, oh, no, I, uh, you know, I have to be intense because Coach Buck told me. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that your aggressive movements have to be there. They have to be there. Now, that could be like, uh, we'll look at it in a sec. Coach Galloway's first save in that video, he just does this. He doesn't step. He just moves his hands. And it's an aggressive sort of move, right? But one of the things you also see with Coach Galloway is every time he makes a save, it's he's fired up. That has to happen before the shot. We'll talk about that more in a second. Okay, three things. Perfect your angles, release point, contact point, you gotta see it, and then be an aggressive, be an aggressive mindset. Oh, we just talked, okay, that's what we talked about. Oh, here's another thing too. Again, what I say is not, don't take it as gospel. Mental toughness is about Believing in your own uniqueness. So take some things, take, I don't take nothing. Take some interpretation of what I say, whatever it happens to be. But one of the ways that I play and teach sometimes is no arc, right? Your, your, your feet are all the way on, on the, uh, the goal line, okay? If you want to do that, great. If you don't, great. I don't care. Whatever it happens to be, but just know why. Don't do it because someone told me. Even if someone told you and you do it, just say, well, because I agree with that. That's why I like it. I play more aggressive with a higher arc. I like a lower arc where everything is very simplified because you don't have to move as much. You can just watch. 